Hi, we are back. Let us finish off our chapter 5. Uh, we will continue with uh, another famous Michael Porter's 5 generic strategies. And the last time when we discussed about Michael Porter's, we talked about competitiveness, uh, that the power of supplier, power of buyers, rivalry, new entrants. Uh, so that was also being introduced by Michael Porter. And another famous uh, theory by Michael Porter is on five generic strategies. And all in all, there are three major types of strategies by Michael Porter. The first one is cost leadership. The second one is cost leadership best value. The third one is on differentiation. And the last one is based on focus. And we look at the uh, different uh, size of the market as well as the generic strategies. So for the first uh, strategies, uh, we talk about uh, cost leadership emphasizes producing standardized products at a very low per unit cost for consumers who are price sensitive. Uh, this one, the example that we can uh, discuss, maybe perhaps we talk about uh, household items uh, in which the price is quite standardized, it's quite similar uh, as compared to one brand to another brand. And we as the consumers, we are very uh, highly sensitive with the price. So if the if product A, the producer increase the, the price and we can simply choose to a different brand name. So under cost leadership, we have type 1 and type 2. Low cost strategy that offers products or services to a wide range of consumer at the lowest price available on the market. Uh, like example, yang, uh, the one that I gave you earlier on, uh, household items and type 2 best value strategies that offers products uh, or services to a wide range of customers at the best price value available on the market. This one, we can associate this uh, with uh, A-Asia. And now everyone can fly. That is part of a cost leadership strategy that offer the best value. Uh, to a wide range of customers. Uh, that is a good example of type 2 strategy. Another example, we talk about Maidin. Uh, they are also the lowest cost producer and the firm can compete on the price with every other industries and earn higher unit profits. Uh, so they, cost, uh, they pursue cost reduction by providing a focus on the organization's uh, strategy. The second one is differentiation aimed at producing products and services considered unique. That is the keyword, unique industry-wide and directed at consumers who are relatively price insensitive. Meaning that here we don't really care much about the price we are willing to pay. And the best example that I can give you is McDonald's is part of differentiation strategy. You can read through the slides later on why McDonald's is considered as a uh, as pursuing a differentiation strategy because we are willing to pay 15, 17, 18 and 20 ringgits for a meal of uh, a burger uh, whereas we can go and buy a burger at much uh, lower prices at 5 ringgit if we go at a stall, burger stall or something like that but we are paying for the 20 ringgit in order for us to get uh, different types of burger or meal at uh, McDonald's maybe because the experience is different so that's uh, that is something that we are paying for and we also have uh, the last one focus strategy low focus uh, low cost focus uh, strategy that offers products or services to a niche group of customer at the lowest price available on the market for example uh, uh, for example, for type 4 low cost focus, maybe uh, uh, Clorox, uh, they really focus on a niche consumer. And for type 5 best value focus, we can uh, include uh, X70 as a best value focus strategy that focus products uh, or services to a small range of customers at the best price value available on the, on the market. So these are some of the explanation on each of the strategies, when and how they are going to pursue this type of strategy. 
uh, you guys can read this through uh, uh, on your own so again differentiation strategy we are not uh, we are willing to pay more uh, for the goods and services and even for the focus strategies also we are willing to pay more and all those uh, high-end cars uh, we can and then branded items we can include them under focus strategy uh, the chapter ends by identifying different sorts of strategies that organizations can take for example, cooperation among competitors, joint venture, merger and acquisition, as well as private equity acquisition, uh, first mover advantages and outsourcing. And these are, again, uh, strategies uh, taken by organizations uh, in the industry. So these are among the benefits of merging, merging and acquiring another another firm. Number one, uh, to provide improved capacity utilization, to better use of the existing sales force, and to reduce managerial staff so that we can reduce the cost, to gain economies of scale, uh, to smooth out seasonal trend sales, as well as to gain new technology. And this was one of the questions being asked in the final exam before. And the benefits of being a first mover and number one uh, secure access and commitments uh, to rare resources to gain new knowledge to gain market share to gain customer loyalty and establish a long-term uh, relationships with customers suppliers distributors and investors so that would end our chapters uh, again uh, i would expect that each one and of you would have your own notes every time uh, every time when you uh, assess my videos short short videos to cover for this particular chapter as well as other chapters the upcoming chapters that we are going to discuss uh, and then read it over and over again view my videos over and over again and I wish you all the best uh, with your studying and everything be safe stay safe and make sure that you wash your hands regularly peace out